Welcome to the show. I'm Drayton Nay. I'm your host. This is the Dre Way, and we are just 39 days away. 39 days away from the election. And I, I, I got to tell you, you know, I, I was wondering how I was going to start off the show today. I was thinking about, should I start off with, you know, something I want to talk about over here, over here? I mean, there was a, a bunch of ways I could start the show, but I want to start the show off by just saying it's over. The whole thing is just over. Do you, do, do you, do you, do you ever just have a sense that this whole the whole Trump thing it has been played out. It's just done. And I feel that way, I think, because, I mean, when you're selling watches and sneakers and trading cards and this whole con, it's over. And and I'm sorry. I, I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm sorry if you're a Trump supporter. I'm sorry. Because you're about to be disappointed in a major way. You know, here we are 39 days out. He's going to lose. He's going to lose this election because people are just, they're just tired. They're just tired of the whole con of the whole. I mean, there's just no substance. There's nothing there. There's nothing there that you can attach yourself with anymore. It, it's it, it, he, he's just a, a shell of a man spouting off anger and just and and there's just nothing positive in his message i don't know i'm not sure what you guys are hanging on to but there's enough of you now going yeah i'm, I'm kind of done with this i know some of you aren't i know some of you want to continue the charade for whatever reason but believe me when i tell you it's over it's just over you know the country's done and when you're when you're trying to pitch expensive garbage watches and some of you this is the part i don't understand you know because i i did a video earlier talking about you know the united states is in pretty good shape you know i mean inflation is down it's like 2.2% so inflation is way down the economy is doing relatively well. GDP, I mean, we got growth. We got people spending. You know, I don't know if you've been to a Costco lately. Oh, my gosh. The two people in front of me, let's see. The guy, two people in front of me, he spent $675. And the person in front of me spent $550 something. And, and you know, as I looked, I mean, everybody, there was eight, ten people in line after line after line after line with baskets filled to the brim. So people have money. People are spending. Costco is packed. So I, I don't know where everybody wants to say, you know, the economy this, the economy that. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I haven't felt it yet. But the economy seems to do be doing pretty well. Stock market's at an all-time high. Things are going... I, I'm not sure what Trump is running on. Do you know what Trump is running on? What is he running on? What's he going to fix? What's he going to do better? Because I remember the end of his pregnancy and it was... Uh, of his presidency and it was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster, the end of his presidency. And I don't want to see that disaster again. I mean, we're still talking about a man that was a, basically a game show host. Yeah. But with the way everything's going on in the economy, I mean, the United States is number one in the world. Our oil production at an all-time high. Gas production at an all-time high. Yeah, I, I, we, we don't need Trump for anything. We don't need his division. We don't need his hatred. We, we just, we don't need it. His his hand has been overplayed, and for you guys to for you when I say you guys Republicans, you keep putting this guy up, and we keep saying no, nah, we're we're done, we're done. And I'm kind of hoping that you guys kind of because there's enough people that see it now that, you know, I mean he's he's selling watches. He's like the guy on the corner. Psst, hey pal, and he pulls open his jacket. And he goes. I, we see anything you like, you know, I got some watches on this side, some jewelry on this side, 
You know, I'll make you a hell of a deal. That's what your guy has been reduced to. He's just trying to sell garbage and make money. And that's the part, like I said earlier, I don't understand. You guys are claiming, uh, you know, prices are expensive. Insurance is expensive. Food's expensive. Why are you buying his garbage expensive shoes and watches and trading cards? You have money for that garbage, but you don't have money for food? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, I'm not... Uh, I'm not buying it, but I, 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 I want you guys to understand and, and look at the words I'm about to use. His 15 minutes is over. His 15 minutes was 10 years and it's been a painful, painful 10 years. And just so you know, women are going to pay the price for having elected this man for years and years and years to come. And that's because we thought, you know, some of us thought it would be a good idea to put a game show host in as president. And yeah, that it, it didn't work out well, especially for women. Yeah, you guys are going to be fought, fighting for ground you lost under him. You know, you got the government now in, in making decisions for your body that you can't make on your own. You need the government to step in and tell you what to do. How does that make you feel? You know, let me know in the comments, as as a woman, in all sincerity, how does it make you feel knowing that the government now can step in and tell you what you're going to do with your own body? How does that make you feel? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for thanks for stopping by and, and checking out the show. I, I hope you are, have, have subscribed. If not, please subscribe to the show because we have a lot more to talk about, a lot more to get to. So again, thank you, thank you for stopping by. My, my first segment is very simple. Uh, to recap this whole first half, Donald Trump is done. Donald Trump is, you listen to him now and you, you listen to him rant and rave and you see when, when people attend his gatherings, within 30 minutes, people are walking out. And that's because you've heard it all before at nauseum over and over again. And I don't want to hear, I don't know about you. I just don't want to hear how bad our country is anymore. And I don't want to hear about, I don't want someone trying to stoke fear in the one thing that makes America so amazing. What makes America so amazing is we can bring people from around the world and we can come together and we could just, you know, together we can build a better nation than anyone else in the world. And that's because of the immigration we have done over hundreds of years from people around the world coming here to prosper and share the same idea of freedom. And yeah, Trump just doesn't get it. But again, let me know what you guys think. We're a lot, we have a lot more to talk about. Please subscribe. Stay with us. We got a lot more to talk about. Let's talk about what's going on right now. Segment two here. Let's talk about what is going on right now now. And I'm not talking about polls. Sure, I could bring up the Bloomberg poll that has her basically ahead everywhere. I could bring that up. You can take a look at the Bloomberg poll. It has her up everywhere. But I don't want to talk about polls anymore. Because polls, after all, are just, they're just polls, right? You know, let's talk about what we really want to talk about. Let's talk about votes. Yeah. Let's talk about actual votes because we can see the number of votes at this point compare and we can compare them in Virginia to this point in time four years ago. Yeah. So we can look at really blue counties and say, okay, early voting is in. After so many days, this is how many blue votes, you know, people we had voting in the blue county in 2020. 
And this is how many people we have voting in that same blue county four years later. Yeah. In some cases, the numbers are up 200, even 300%. Yeah. Dare I say it? Dare I say blue wave? I mean, think about it. You know, if, if voting is up two, three hundred percent in blue counties in Virginia, wow, what what about what are we not talking about in the rest of the country? You know? And and that's the thing that I think all the polls are missing. I really do. I don't think polls are getting the spirit or the momentum that Harris has. I, I don't think they're picking up on it. I think it's going to surprise them. And and I'm telling you this now. I, I think the momentum that she has and people just being over with, I, 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 once again, I, I keep saying this, but I, I hate to say this, but the people that Republicans have put up for office, not just the presidency, because we've rejected him twice. Twice that man has received fewer votes than the person than the other person he's run against. I mean, I don't know what Republicans don't understand, but we people don't like Trump, don't like him, you know? And people now know his story at nauseum, and he's not a likable guy, but either is Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is the most unlikable guy in the Senate. And it's not just Ted Cruz. What about Rick, Rick Scott over in, in Florida? Or what about in Arizona? Or what about in North Carolina? You see, I can go on and on and on. They keep putting up people that people don't like. They're not good people. And I want you to understand what we're seeing happen right now in Virginia is probably going to happen. You know, Virginia is going to be a real good telltale sign of where we are in the election very early because Virginia's going to vote and count those votes and we're going to have numbers. And I'm telling you now, watch those numbers in Virginia. Please watch those numbers in Virginia because Biden won by 10% last time, 54 to 44. I, I think Harris could win by 50, getting 56% or 57%. I mean, 58%, oh, if it's, if it's 58%, oh, wow. But I want to see if she gets 56% or 57%. But 58% would be crazy. But if she wins Virginia by more than 10 points, it's on. The blue wave is on. And early voting numbers, early voting numbers, voting numbers from Virginia show huge, huge numbers of votes coming in compared to four years ago. I mean, up to 300% is crazy. So th that's the neat thing now. We can start talking about actual voting because polls are all over the place, you know, especially when you guys see polls from Republicans. Republican polls are complete nonsense. You know, the Bloomberg poll out today is going to give you a real Ill good indication on what's going on. But yeah, she's winning. She's winning in the polls, but now you can start to see the voting coming in. And with when you're up two, three hundred percent from blue votes compared to four years ago, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. So that's the fun part. You know, yeah, you know, here we here we are 39 days out, you know, and now it's gonna be in a few days, it's gonna be under 30 under a month. In a few days, we'll be under a month. And now we'll be able to see early voting and see the momentum because that's the whole thing. I don't think we have really captured, I don't think we've really captured the momentum. I don't think we've gotten, you know, the spirit from young people, the spirit from older people that are not, I, I can't tell you how many older people I've talked to, over 65, yeah, they're like, I'm voting for Harris. I'm voting for it. That, that guy is, you know, you'd be surprised how many seniors are like, yeah, I'm not. No, no. <laughs> you, know, you know, Trump is a is a, a 
Uh, what, what did that one lady call him? A flim flam artist. <laughs> she called him a flim flam artist. Yeah. So again, thanks for joining the show. Thanks for being here. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It, it really does help out when you guys subscribe and comment. And I really want to know what your comments are. What do you think? Tell me what you think, particularly about the, the votes coming in in Virginia that we can see now that are up two and three hundred percent. That's got if you're thinking of uh, of supporting Trump, that's got to make you go, whoa, wait a minute. And if you're on the blue side, you got to be going, yes, yes. And I have a feeling I have a feeling you're going to be doing that a lot. I have a feeling you're going to be going, yes, a lot because uh, it's it's it, the early indications are. Harris is beating him, but good. <laughs> but there's there's still 39 days to go, a lot of early voting to go. I'm going to keep you up to date on all of it. But if you're in the Harris camp, there is nothing today but good news. If you're in the Trump camp, you got more garbage to buy. Yeah, I don't want to hear from any of you Trumpsters that inflation's high or prices are high. You're still buying his garbage. So you must have money. If you can afford to buy Trump garbage, <laughs> you must have money. But let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment. Thanks for thanks for stopping by the Drayway. Thanks for uh, you know supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. We have much more to come. Don't forget if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, please stop by and check them out. And don't forget another episode tomorrow. We'll see you later. Have a great day, everybody.